Martin here, thank you for joining me for this week's Turner's Journey which is episode 44. I hope you're all well and you have had super creative weeks and weekends and stuff in your workshops. Um, I've got to say, first off, um, huge thanks to everybody who left a message of uh, condolence on uh, last week's Turner's Journey. Um, I really, well we, the family, really, really appreciate your thoughts um, at, uh, at, at this time. Uh, and with one thing and another and the symposium and all that other um, wonderful fun stuff like that I haven't had a chance to put a video together for you this week again um, it is as frustrating for me I think as it is for you to not be able to turn and get videos out like you guys um, enjoy watching so I am really sorry and I know I said it last week but um, as far as time goes to get some turning done the work that I've done on the symposium this week and last week um, is virtually finished. There is almost nothing else that um, I need to do as far as the organising of the symposium goes other than going and setting up and running the event. Um, I need to practice um, my demonstrations. I'm doing two demonstrations at the symposium, um, one of which is going to be um, colouring and texturing as that's kind of what I'm known for on YouTube and I think that one will be along the lines of uh, Golden Fire hang on yeah it, it'll be along the lines of Golden Fire which is this piece um, so I need to practice to make sure that I can do a piece like this in an hour um, and the other one I've got to do is up to two hours and I'm a bit stuck uh, on what to do um, now they're on two different days so there will most likely be a, a, a different audience so your thoughts guys please shall I do another one similar to Golden Fire or shall I do something else completely and if that is something else completely what do you think it should be now um, this week as you saw last week um, I've got myself um, a Robert Sorby Ultima hollowing tool um, which I have had a chance of practicing with and for those of you who follow me on Facebook and Instagram would have seen this little pot um, which is um, an ash branch which um, was the first piece that I actually hollowed there it is um, and then sprayed red and yellow and then yesterday um, I managed to get a couple of hours out and turn this one, which is bigger than bigger than that one, similar similar kind of shape. And this one is kind of electric blue and a pastel pink. Um, and I've made a couple of mistakes with it. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's that one. I've left the tenon on this one for the time being because I want to dry it out before I put the the final final finish on there. And I'm really happy with the finish on that. Um, and the finish on that was sanding sealer, Hampshire Sheen tie wax, which is the white in the grain, that's the liming wax. Um, then high gloss, and then over the top of that, um, I put this stuff, which is um, a new Hampshire Sheen product, which is, its working name is Secret Stick. <laughs> um, yeah, Secret Stick. And it comes up with a, a glass-like finish, but anyway. So that is the extent of the turning that I've managed to do um, recently. I've also been thinking about the, the other big plan that I've, I've got in my head at the moment, and I think I'll make that announcement um, in episode 52, um, which will be a year after I started this, so sometime... Sometime in August um, I'll make that announcement. There are some things I need to research prior to making the announcement to make sure I don't look like a complete idiot. Um, so I need to research a bit of that and I'll make that announcement um, in episode 52. Um, and that's kind of about it. Um, I've got a couple of commission jobs that I need to do this weekend as well as practice the um, demonstration. Uh, uh, demonstrations rather for the symposium um, and also I've, I've got a few bits and pieces to do for the other event that I'm helping to organize and on the floor down there behind me are 
uh, three of the banners that we need for the other event and I've been working hard getting that program and that publicity sort of up and going as well. Um, and that, if you don't know, is um, a charity um, Victorian cricket tournament that runs in Alton, my local town in Hampshire, uh, each year and it has done ever since 1983 and I'm really pleased and proud to have been helping to organise that for about the last nine years or so. So that's going to be another really, really good event and if you want to, if you're in Hampshire or in the surrounding area, then come along to um, Alton on the 26th of June big Victorian cricket tournament running from 10 o'clock in the morning right the way through until about 7 o'clock at night uh, and yours truly is um, on the on the PA doing the commentary and all of the, all of the other bits and pieces for the day uh, and there's a really good bar tent as well I have to say super super beer tent top notch so that's it for this week folks thank you very much indeed for watching next week's Turner's Journey will be later in the day it'll have a slightly different format as I'm going to be recording it from the setup um, at the symposium um, I'll do it from actually inside the room so there won't be any opening credits or anything like that it'll literally just kind of appear and then I'll also do one on the Saturday and the Sunday as well when I've got a few minutes spare so there'll be three Turner's Journeys next week um, from the symposium uh, which I hope you'll enjoy. A lot of people who can't make it to the symposium have been asking if we'll be doing some video so I'll do three Turner's Journeys next week um, and also record loads and loads of footage. We're all going to record loads and loads of footage and then we'll put together a big symposium kind of overview for people. And that's that really is it for this week folks. Um, I'm get, getting back to it. I'm getting back to it and I'm really looking forward to being able to get a video up for you as just as soon as I can. There is a chance there'll be one next week. I've got an idea in my head well, I've still got the walnut and the holly thing, um, but I've also got another idea for something else as well. Um, but it will come, I promise. Right, that's it for this week, folks. Um, sorry I've waffled on, and I'll see you again next week for Turner's Journey, episode 45, from the UK and Ireland Wood Turning Symposium. Thanks very much. Bye for now.